morning, boys and Good girls. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Carrie. Good morning. Miss Emily, I brought you something today. Oh, I love when Miss Carrie brings I think these are your treat. favorite chocolates, right? Oh, yes, those are. Okay, so Thank Ms. you so much. Miss Emily, um, but I don't want you to eat it quite yet, okay? I'm going to leave for a few for a few seconds. Okay. And I don't want you to eat it while I'm gone. And if you don't eat it while I'm gone, I will give you two more. Oh. Okay. Do you think you can just hold it just like that? Just leave it just like that, okay? Okay. You got it? Got it. Okay, I'll be hold right it. back. Just like this. But don't eat it. Don't eat it. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, this is really hard. It smells so good. Oh, do you want to see what it looks like on the inside? I'm not eating it. I'm just looking at it. Oh, has pretty gold wrapper. Something special's inside. Oh, I can smell the chocolates right there. Just like right there. Oh, you, oh, you. Yeah, I, I think I, I'm gonna just take a little lick. It won't, I'm not eating it. <gasps> oh, that tastes so good. So good. It's my favorite chocolate. That was so sweet of Miss Carrie to give me my favorite chocolate. Hey, Miss Emily, how mm. did it go? Does it... Hi, Miss Carrie. Hi. Hi. Um, what, what happened there? Um, I was showing the boys and girls about, I just wanted them to see what was inside, the type of chocolate that it was. Okay, but Ms. I Gary? asked you not to touch it. Um, I asked you to keep it just like it was. Oh, Miss Carrie, you did ask me to keep it like it, it was. It doesn't look like you took any bites out of it, but mm, it looks a little wet right there. What happened? I licked it. Oh, Miss Emily. I know. Can I still have my other two chocolates? Because I didn't eat it. I just opened it and licked it. Miss Emily, I'm sorry you don't get your other two chocolates. You chose not to obey, so <sighs> that's your consequence is not getting the other chocolates. I'm actually gonna take this one too. Oh, well I have to say, Miss Carrie, that's a right response. You're pleasing the Lord mm -hmm. because God judges sin, so that's a right response. Yeah, so what should your mm -hmm. response be right now, Miss Emily? Miss Carrie, it was wrong of me. Would you please forgive me for disobeying and not doing what you asked me to do? I will forgive you, but you probably need to seek forgiveness from somebody else, too. I do. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to talk to God really quick. <sighs> I'm so thankful the Lord always forgives my sin. And I also ask him to help me next time, Miss Carrie. Okay, because good. he will give me strength he to will. obey. He will. Oh, I'm thankful that if I would have obeyed, there's there's good consequences, but I'm also thankful that he did not just leave me in my sin. No, he didn't. He is going to give me negative consequences, ones that kind of hurt, like not getting all three chocolate pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's so, good. That was a right response. Right. So it talks about, in the Bible, this book right here. What's this book called? Oh, again? I know I just said it, but what's this book called? This is my the Bible. Bible. It's, it's God's, God's holy word. Everything, everything in it is true, and it's living inside you. So before we talk about how sin came into the world, mm -hmm. would you mind praying for us, Miss Emily? Oh, I would love to. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you that in the beginning you were there. I thank you, Lord, that you wrote this beautiful love letter a love letter to us that tells us that we are sinners and we are in need of redemption and that you love us so much you will not leave us in our sin. I pray, Lord, that today we would understand your word that you do have to judge sin because you are just. And I pray that we would recognize and admit our sin to you. Lord, help us to understand your word today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we're back in the same book we were last week. Do you remember what oh, book that was? It wasn't the last book like we were nope. a couple it's of weeks ago. The first, first book. book. What's it called? Genesis. Genesis. And last week we talked about how God created everything to bring him glory. Yes. And he, the thing that he made that was very good. Do you remember what was very good, not just well, good? All of the creation mm -hmm. that God said and spoke into existence was good mm -hmm. and very good was you and me right. and boys and girls at home. Right. And so Adam and Eve, 
the male and female that he created got to spend time with God and walk in the Garden of Eden oh, I with God. remember that they were talking with him. Right. Oh, such right. a great relationship. But God did tell them that there was a tree in the middle of the garden. Do you remember what that tree oh, was Oh, oh, oh. God's word tells us it is the tree of the knowledge of Good, Good and, and evil. evil. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and he told them they could not eat from that tree. They could have whatever else right. they wanted, just not that tree. Just like the Ms. chocolate. Carrie, that's just like the chocolate. Yeah, I told you not to eat the chocolate. Just and like God, God said, told. Don't eat the fruit right. from that tree. Okay, right. okay. And so then we have another player coming onto the scene with God, Adam, and Eve. Oh, there's someone else. Yeah. It's the serpent. Oh, Satan. Yeah. Uh, he always comes to steal kill and destroy. Yeah. I don't like where this is going, Miss Carrie. Yeah, he went to Eve and he told Eve just to go ahead and eat from that tree because God just doesn't want oh. Eve to be as smart as he was. Oh boy, that's kind of like what I struggled with with the chocolate in front of me. Mm-hmm. So oh. in verse 6, in chapter 3 of Genesis, verse 6, it says mm-hmm. the woman saw that the tree was good for food and delightful to look at, just like oh, the chocolate. The chocolate was very yeah. delightful to look at. And that it was... Smell. Yeah, and that it was desirable for obtaining wisdom because she thought that's what, like, she was going to get wisdom and that's what she wanted. She wanted to be. So, like, the chocolate wouldn't have given me wisdom. Mm -mm. I could have, if I was staring at that fruit like Eve was, there was even more to gain than something delicious and something great to look at. So it says, so remember, God told her not to do it, but it says she took some of its fruit and ate it. Not only did she eat it, she gave it to Adam also. She gave it to her oh. husband. Yeah. And that one thing changed the whole entire world. One action. One action. Changed, changed everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. it brought sin into the world. So now we can no longer have that. God's no longer going to be walking with them the way he was. Oh, not like it was in the garden. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, um, that is so mm-hmm. sad. Remember, Miss Emily, when you ate that chocolate, you also had a consequence for that sin, I right? Did. Negative consequences to choices that don't please God when we sin. Mm-hmm. That's a right response. God is just. And he says that when we sin, which was anything, anything we, we think, think anything, anything we say, and anything, anything we do, do that displeases God. Well, that displeased God for sure. Yeah. And so Adam and Eve, they have consequences too, not just the fact that they aren't going to have that relationship with, like the same relationship yeah. with God anymore. Separated They're, from are God. They are getting separated from God. It says that the woman's uh, oh, there's labor more? pains. What yeah. verse? What verse? It says verse 16. Oh. That her labor when she has kids, it's going to be really hard and it's going to be painful. That's true. It is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and then for men, it yes. says that instead of just being able to pick pick stuff from the ground and easily grow it, oh. it's going to be a lot harder to grow. There's going to be weeds and thorns, and they're oh, really going to have are. to work for that food. And now there is, and those things are still true today. There's consequences that are not fun right. for our sin, but it's a right response. Right, and so Miss Emily, somebody else came onto the scene later in the Bible that kind of changed oh. some things. Miss Carrie, it's like my favorite part of God's Word. This, we're studying in Genesis. It, it's a beginning Mm -hmm. so we see what God created was good and we are very good and we have purpose to bring him glory but then we sin and there is separation from God through one action and God says through one action his son dying on the cross taking our punishment for the sin that we have committed so we know we're going to have to be separated from God won't be separated from God but wait so we're not going to be separated from God anymore, but are we still going to have consequences for our sin? Well, on earth, we absolutely do. That's because God loves us. Miss Carrie, you loved me well mm-hmm. by not allowing me to have any more of those chocolates so I can learn to be more like Jesus and give him more glory. Mm-hmm. And that's our purpose. Right. So God's still going to allow things on earth when we sin so that we can become more like him. And bring him glory. But the most important thing is he gave us a way that we're no longer separated from him anymore. That's and right. And that's so it's awesome. It's a short-term thing. Mm-hmm. We know exactly where we're going, don't we? Uh, yes, we do. At the very end, we have seen that we will get to go to heaven and be with God. And that right relationship is restored because we love, we believe, and mm-hmm. have confessed with our mouth 
that Jesus is Lord right. and Savior. So when we sin, just like you did, you repented, you sought forgiveness, right? I did, and I will seek the Lord for strength to help me on the next to time. To obey the next time. Yes. And that's what God judges sin, so we need to repent and we need to obey. Oh, so like the boys and girls at home, mm -hmm. when you're struggling with something, when there's an opportunity to sin and disobey or to bring God glory and obey, what will you choose? You, if you're having a hard time, can pray and ask the Lord to give you strength to bring God glory and please the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you pray that the boys and girls at home would choose that? And if they have never trusted the Lord and gone to him, that they would today, Ms. Carrie? I would love to. Okay. Generally, Father God, I ask that you help the boys and girls who already know you, God. I ask that you help them to realize that even though they will no longer be separated from you forever, God, that um, they still will have consequences for their sin, God, and that's so that they can grow to be more like you every day, God. And ask that you help them to remember to bring you glory in everything that they do, God. And for, for the boys and girls who don't know you yet, God, I ask that you want them to help them to want mm -hmm. to not have that eternal separation from you. Help them to want to have that community with you, God. And um, we pray for them as they go throughout their week, God, that they have good weeks and that they're able to bring glory to you in everything that they do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Bye. Bye.